hey what's up people welcome back to the channel so today i'll show you how to apply um, for student loans so in today's video i'll pull up my laptop and show you how to apply for prodigy finance student loans i have talked a lot about prodigy on this channel so i want to just show you like how to apply and we'll go through the entire process from beginning to end together um i'll pull up my laptop share my screen and show you guys so just make sure you click the link in the description so you can follow along it's so easy just click the link in the description first and then follow the video and if you have any questions or i did something that was like pretty unclear or confusing in the video just put a comment down and i'll answer any of your questions or clarify um you know as we go along so make sure you actually click the link and follow the video if you like it don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and let's just jump right into today's video what's up guys so today i'll show you how to apply to prodigy finance for like your um for student loans so let's just get started with it i have an old video on this but i'll just i'm doing an updated one so you guys see um how things may have changed a bit but it's still really similar to the last time so you get this link straight in my um you can get this link in my description box i have it in so many of my videos but in this video is right there in my description box so maybe you first go click that link when you get on this page then um just follow the video um yeah right now so let's just get started with it the first thing you want to do with prodigy is you need to have checked if um they sponsor your school i'll also drop a link in the description box for you to just check quickly if they sponsor your school so that's the most important thing just click right here apply now and then i already have a prodigy account i need to blow out this but <laughs> i already have a prodigy account and i'll just like sign in and um we'll see uh so right here you just say how did you first hear about prodigy so the first thing they'll tell you but i already have an account but you will likely have to create an account and um, then you sign in with your login details just normal stuff and then here you click um just internet search or whatever however you heard about prodigy finance you can also you know tell me um tell them you heard about them from my channel <laughs> so i agree to the privacy policy i agree to whatever prodigy finance but you guys should read these things you know i'm just trying to get through um this video you don't have to click this last one because it's on like latest community benefits and all that um not so good stuff because i don't like that um yeah so that's what this is about i'm trying to sign in and then i'll see you on the next page so guys once you create an account on that page i just showed you and you go to your they'll send you some verification email um to the email address you provided just go to your email and you already see a link to like get started so once you get on this page this is like once you sign in using the link in your email you get to this page and you can already see i have so many applications um here but what we're doing today is a new application so click on this button here new loan application so once you have that you just get started so i'll try to be really quick quick here i agree to the privacy policy get started which country do you currently live in i'm going to say nigeria because um i'm trying to apply internationally um you click next and then which state or province do you live in let's just use lagos right here i have you lived in lagos for the past three years i'm just going to click yes um what citizenships do you have nigeria that's the only one i have if you have multiple just put it there what country do you consider your home um you know just keep putting the same country if that's like what um it is in your case which school do you want to go to let us use um just the same university of toronto here let's say department of computer science um next what do you want to study um ms in com applied computing <laughs> uh which class will you be joining uh you can say for 2022 um 
what is your date of birth uh you fill in all of this information and and just like continue so i'll fill all of this quickly and then i will continue with the video once you feel all of that they'll do something like this you see something like this on your screen looks like you're eligible keep going to get a detailed offer now you can start the application process and put in all your personal details and stuff like that so let's just continue now if your school wasn't on their list you wouldn't even get to this point right is how much is your gross monthly salary so guys pay attention to this do not put your net income like what comes into your account every month that is not your gross your gross is your income before tax and all of those deductions so in Ira, um so they are asking for your monthly salary just pay attention because some options like some loan providers like uh, empower they want you to put this in annual figures but prodigy wants you to put this in monthly figures so maybe you earn i'm just you know use uh using examples here so let's say you earn gross a millionaire in a millionaire every month The total cost of your course is approximately seventy thousand dollars so they already have this information from the school which is a really good thing about prodigy so you don't have to go through all of um like finding the course we get this amount from your school and it includes fifty three thousand for tuition and seventeen thousand for living costs this is what i mentioned in all my videos they want you almost all the loan options want you to account for your full cost of attendance which is like your tuition your fees and your living expenses so you want to pay attention to that they don't care about like just your tuition they want to make sure you can pay for everything it will take for you to like be part of that program so uh what you need in this case is 70 almost like 71 thousand dollars right how we issue our loans what does this mean for you just information there do you have funds from any of these sources confirmed scholarships so let's say you had scholarships from the school of maybe twenty thousand dollars and then company sponsorships and other loans um so next great looks uh let's look at your budget for august 2022 to december 2023 how much do you want to borrow so they already tell you you can borrow between this and this so let's say the maximum um so they're also asking for personal savings so let's say you have personal savings of ten thousand uh, dollars and this one is zero so uh So you need another 6,009 to cover your cost. So let me try to understand this. So earlier I had put in there that I would cover 20,000 of my costs, right? Um, you still need another 69 to cover your costs. So this is like for a year and a half. So that means you need to increase your um, savings to maybe $17,000 and this is what i'm guessing you would need um so let's see what that means have you ever defaulted on a loan you keep clicking here do you have a criminal record so basic stuff um you've never been declared bankrupt that's fine um and then you can submit your application i think that's it Polygy is like super easy just make sure the numbers add up to like your total cost of attendance and you'll be fine now your application is under review and they'll get back to you on like you like uploading your documents and stuff like that so it's super easy the most important part of this whole thing is for you to submit like um 
you know how much you need and then they will get back to you they are reviewing they'll get back to you on like what documents you need to upload they'll send you a link and stuff like that so this is it for prodigy i hope you guys found today's video helpful just let me know if you have other questions i know i do a lot of like loan q a videos on the channel so let me know if you have any questions in the comment section and i'll try to answer them or do more videos that will explain like how you can go about whatever situation you're in yeah i hope you found this helpful uh don't forget this is kind of a series of videos i'm doing i probably already did one before this and i'll do another one after this one so don't miss any of uh, these videos i'm doing so you can apply to as many options as possible so i'll see you guys in my next video give the video a thumbs up to support your girl and i'll see you in my next video